Hello, good evening, and welcome to round five of season eight. Hello, good evening, and welcome to. I can get rid of that, I don't want to hear myself. Hopefully, the audio is coming through loud and clear. So, this is the fourth round of the group threes and group fours taking place at Barcelona which again is another new track for DTCC despite being in season 8 on the site says loud and clear good and James good evening says good evening yep so despite this being a season um Mika saying chat not working uh in discord let's go back to me can say it seems to be okay okay multi multitasking on multi pieces of software um yeah so despite this being season eight of dtcc this is the first time the drivers have had to tackle barcelona and that's mainly because previous configurations of Barcelona have had the ghastly La Chicane which was used as the GP track I think up until according to Wikipedia it was changed in 2007 <clears throat> La Chicane was added there we go Meek is on just sparks in life good so the game has always had the Garthy Chicane up until very recently, which they got rid of the La Chicane, gone back to the one of the original configurations of the track, which I think was up until 2006, which had the really quick last two corners. So it's a much better flowing track now. So it's in season eight. And let's have a quick grid walk. So usual format for tonight, group fours to start, and then the group threes will follow after so having a top five going to the back after qualifying as per usual so on the pole sixth fastest in qualifying is dan in his porsche cayman looking very nice there second on the grid is jim 66 in his lexus third on the grid is silver star in his nissan doing a good job to get third fourth on the grid is james in his scooby Oh, not running the bright number board. Oh, lucky I didn't notice that at the time, James. That would have been a penalty. Running the GT number board. And Daz in his Toyota Supra is, what was he? Sixth. Fifth. I'm trying to avoid it when we get here. One's seasick. And sixth on the grid is Mika in the McLaren. And seventh on the grid is Wayne in his Aston. And eighth on the grid was Spunkmeyer in his Merc. Then we get to the um, top five in qualifying. Who goes to the back of the grid in reverse order? So fifth quickest in qualifying. Doing a great job was um, Sam in his Ferrari. And Matt in his BMW. That's a week after his nose op, so he wasn't feeling too clever. And then I think Alex in the Hyundai was third quickest in qualifying. Second quickest was Chris in his um, Genesis. And then despite not feeling well either, Chris was fastest in his Honda. So that is the grid. And that is what the drivers are facing. The long run down to turn one. So let's get going. So let's, we'll have a quick actually look at the uh, tyres because this is a bit of a... Ah, James saying livery not loaded. I'll let you off for that. Uh, seems to be the only one that's not loaded. Um, we'll go with as it is. Everyone else seems to be okay. Right, so the this track's a bit of a tyre killer. So let's have a quick rundown and see who's using what. So Dan's on pole, he's on mediums. Jim's on mediums. Silver Star's on mediums. James is on mediums. So Daz is on softs. Taking a gamble, his tyres will last. Carly is on mediums. Wayne's on mediums. Spuntwire is also on softs. Sam's on mediums. Matt's on mediums. 
Alex is on mediums, Chris is on mediums, and Little's GP is on softs as well. So three of the 13 are going gambles on softs. Let's see how that plays out. So here we go. Let's get going. First race of the night. Group fours. It's a long run down to turn one, so we'll see how this works out. Dan gets a good start. The flyer. Look at that. Screamer from pole. And also James gets a really good one from... Uh, fourth on the grid as well so it looks like he's clear in two seconds as we go down the fields a bit of chopping and changing as we go a bit further down let's go into the first corner though dan looks like he's made it he has james is through that's a very poor camera angle i hear some screeching we'll go back and see what goes on so daz is in sixth carly in seventh let's go to the front let's see if dan and james Let's just go into turn four and then we'll cut back to the replay because I think there was some college in turn one. We've got a battle going on for third. No, we haven't. That's Jim's got it. So let's go back and see what happened at the start. And we're going to go back all the way to Little's GP who comes in a bit hot and oh, just left his brake a little bit too late and wipes out half the field. You can see Chris has gone off. Let's go back again. Uh, let's, let's watch from Matt. I think that was quite a good view. Let's watch for the back of Matt. So you see Chris Porteous leaves his brake in a little bit too late. And there's a bit of carnage there and four cars will go off including Chris who waits. Right, so that's what happens at the back. First corner shenanigans as per usual at Barcelona. But Dan is away as we come in to a turn of four. Nice and steady in the Cayman. James is a good second, and Jim's up to third now. He's got a civil start right behind him, and it looks like Spotbuyer's gonna make a move. Does he make a stick? No, not quite. But Silver Star's run a bit wide. It looks like Christian's gonna get that move done into the downhill chicane. Let's watch, yes he does, nicely done. And it looks like there's a bit of a tangle there between Daz and Silver Star. Oh, Silver Star's gone round. What's happening with Daz? Is Daz waiting? Yes, he is. Inadvertently turned the Nissan around. He's waiting there, which is good to see. So, um, we'll go back to the front. Oh, looks like there's a move going on there. Looks like Jim. Oh, there's a bit of carnage there as well. Jim, I think, has taken Dan out. So, Dan was leading. Let's watch what happened here. Maybe let's go from the rear roof cam of Dan here comes Jim just a little bit too late on the brakes and gives Dan a good old thump Dan gets going though manages to only lose two places though so he's done alright that Matt in the meantime has benefited from all the chaos has come up to fourth Alex has also done well in fifth I mean, it looks like the two Chris's are going to go side by side as we go into the downhill right hand uh, here we go so this is not what course she's way better than it was and then the last corner as well which is much much trickier and much quicker and look at that as we stream through so James is leading us across the line after Dan's little uh, skirmish with Jim in the Scooby second is Christian Christian had a good start as well and Dan's in third with Matt leaning on him on fourth and we've got the two Chris's battling that's gone ball with uh, reigning champion or giving uh, Chris a little bit of a love tap there as we go around we got so we got Alex right behind us and then we got we see no we can't and he's got it though we've done it we've done it let's go behind um, Chris is on board now is he going to try and make a move to go into this uh, turn five down here left yes he does what a nice move that was there we go very nice little dive through. So, Alex is down to seven. Chris is up to fifth, sixth. And we've got Chris and Matt now fighting. There's no penalties uh, for track limits on this one. So they can come look at close Chris is to Matt. Right on his boot lid. Let's go on board with Chris. He's got the BMW to our left. Is he going to try and go around the outside? No, he goes a bit wide. Matt lets him go round the outside. Oh no, Matt's got on the power a bit too quickly and has spun. Oh no, without a good start, hard work. He's dropped down to 10th. 
Jim gonna do anything about that? No, so look at that. Matt and Jim down the back, so it's Daz and Silverstar. So, a few little dramas there already. James, though, he's doing a good job. He's gonna come across the line, he lead him below. The spun by, looks like he's gonna have a run as we come down the main straight. And then we've got Dan and Little's GP. Look at this, side by side. Let's go on board. We can't see that. Scooby, no. We're looking from the cockpit of James's car. Looks like, oh, got a little bit of a nudge there, but Chris is through. Chris is through. And we got Dan right behind us as well as we go through the long tyre kill in turn three. But Chris is already up to second. He's going after Spunkmeyer by the looks of it. As we go into, oh, we've got three abreast as we come in. Look at this, he's racing all over the place as always in DTCC. So James has gone a little bit wide. Looks like Chris might try to take a move. Let's go on the roof cam of James's car. We've got a queue of cars all uh, scrapping for this position. I don't think Chris is going to be brave to try and get around the outside there. Is he going to make it? No, he's not. And Alex is trying to make a move as we go up the hill. Oh, that's a rubbish view. Up the hill we go. And he's like, um, Chris is through, so let's rewind that, see what happened there. Looks like he got a good run coming out of the um, hairpin, turn five. And just, oh, Chris, Christian gives him just enough room and gets the move done. But Chris is leading. And we've got this skirmish going on for third, fourth, fifth, sixth. Go up the hill, Dan's in third in the Porsche on his mediums, but don't forget Chris in front, he's on the soft, so he's got tyre advantage as well. But uh, Spunway is up to uh, second on his soft. Let's keep an eye on that left front. And we've got, look at this, battles going into the hairpin. James, oh, looks like there's a battle going on behind as well. So Matt and, Matt's up a place, trying to uh, attack Carly. And keep an eye on that battle. But we've got his absolute cracking battle going on from fourth. Come through the final two corners. Lots of people straddling that sausage curb. Oh, Skips has uh, done well as well, so he's avoided any uh, carnage. So let's go on board with Alex. We're going to try and go for the Ferrari. And it looks like we're going to get him. And in front as well, we've got Chris. We're going to watch this. Okay, so we've got Ferrari in front of us. And Chris is going to make a move on the inside of James. Looks like he gets that done as well. Let's go on board with James. We're going to try to get the cut back. No. Let's go. Oh, come on, fingers. Oh, what's going on? Oh, what's going on there? So we're skipping back to Silver Star, attacking Wayne as well. So there's battles all over the track at the moment. All right, let's see what we're going on. So Chris is uh, checked out already. Spumwire is all in a fairly comfortable second. He's got Dan right behind us. Fairly comfortable second, but then he's in Dan right behind us. So that makes lots of sense. Right, he's been closed down by Chris on his mediums. We see his medium, left front's already starting to go. And here we go, we've got a battle here between James and Alex as we go into the downhill with the chicane, side by side. Look at that, they give each other room. We go up the hill. James is on the inside though. So Alex is gonna try and do a cutback as we come out of the very quick, unsighted um, turn nine. This is the view from the Ferrari. Braking is really tight. And the one behind is really tight. Right, uh, left hand hairpin. Let's go from the roof cam and see what that Ferrari can do. We've got a little guest start who's gonna say hello. Say hello, Benjamin. Hello. <laughs> Look at this, Benjamin. Look how close this is. Got skips on the Ferraris, gaining, gaining, gaining as we go around the last corner. Oh, we're going very wide. But in the meantime, we are super tight with the Scoobies. We come down the straight. It's a pure horsepower race, this one. Who's going to win this? Who's going to break latest? Is Oh, look at that. So, um, Alex has got the brakes on a bit later, but he's run a bit deep. He's managed to hold it. James is going to attack though, so we got the Ferrari also looking interested. Look at these. 
I'm a size says hello Benjamin that's Nanny saying hello hi Benjamin right is the Ferrari going to make a move into the, the tight turn four but no he's, he's got it tight going through though he's looking good is he going to try and make a move on the outside that'll be brave no he doesn't we've got Matt who's closing down so Matt has got past Carly and, oh look at this though alongside each other skip start he's going to make a move down the inside into the chicane he does I think he does indeed, a nice move. Alright, let's just see what else is going on. Any other battles going on? So we've got Dan and Chris now. Chris making his way up. Dan's on the mediums. Chris is on the mediums, but look at Chris's left front. He's looking pretty nasty, whereas Dan's looking really good. And they're closing on the Mercedes, whose left front is also looking not great. <laughs> They say his track is torture on the tyres. Right, let's see what's going on in this battle for fifth. So Matt has also got past um, James. So Matt is now making his way back through the field up into seventh. Alex is trying to keep the Ferrari at bay. We go down the hill again. Look at this, what we've got going on here. We've got a train of cars coming down the straight. Danny's leading. He's not actually, he's, um, it's probably his lead, it's a Christian in second. You can see from the track map top right, Chris has just disappeared. And we've got this cracking battles going on all the way down the field. Looked like there was a bit of an attack there from the Ferrari. Alex is having to defend, his right front's not looking great, whereas Sam's is looking quite a lot better. <laughs> I've been doing. Is he going to get the uh, move done as we come out of turn three? He's on the inside. Nicely done. Look at that. A little bit of a tap as they go through, but nicely done by Sam. He's up to fifth now. Alex is down to sixth. He's got Matt chasing him down. In the meantime, let's see what's going on here. We've got Danny being attacked by Chris as we come down to the downhill chicane. Let's see what he can see. Oh, Chris is going to make a move into the uh, uphill third gig. Oh, he's got a little bit wide. He's got a little bit wide. So I think Chris is going to make a move as we come out. He's fainting one way than the other. Is he going to make a dive down the inside as we go into the uh, uh, left hand hip? He does, but does he keep it on the apex? Oh, it's tight. But I think he's got it. Dan's going to have the overlap as we go. No, he's, he didn't make it work. Nice move by Chris there. But Chris moves up to third. And now we're looking at this battle here between Sam, Alex, Matt and James. Sam's a little bit wide coming out of turn at 12. Oh, Alex take a good healthy toaster curb as he comes through that like, phenomenal corner. All right, look at this now. Let's go on board with Matt. What have we got? James is a bit behind us. Matt in the uh, slightly underpowered Beamer is getting a good toe off. The uh, Hyundai, who's going to break latest as we go into uh, turn one, but it looks like Matt's done it, gets the stop just be enough, but it looks like we got good battles. Uh, Alex attacks as we come out of uh, turn two, but into turn three, Matt closes the door. So Matt is now up to six from his recovery after that second lap spin. And behind we've got Jim, Jim and James having a battle. So in true DTT, DTCC fashion, there's battles everywhere. So James is uh, beginning to run out of tyres though, his left front is not looking good. That's why it's Jim's, whereas James's is even worse. And Daz is soft, actually looking pretty good, so he was right to take the softs. They're not looking too bad at all. It's only going to last the race. Carly's mediums look pretty good in 11th. So we haven't really focused much on the, uh, the rear of the field. There's been so much going on. There's uh, Wayne. On his mediums. He's in 12th. And then Silverstone got tipped round by Daz. He's in 13th. So at the front, we are 12 and a half minutes in. And interesting. Look, Chris's front left is absolutely host hose. But he's got such a big lead now. He should be all right. It's probably... Yeah, give me two more laps yet. Yeah. And we've got this battle now between second, third and fourth. Christian's still got it. 
And there's Chris. Oh, that's our fortunate camera angle. He's in third. He's ahead of Dan, who's in fourth. They come in to uh, turn one for the eighth lap. Eight laps already. And we got Sam, who's got Matt right behind him. Matt trying to recover the points as best he can. Oh, so close, these two. Look how close they are. Let's go from the rear roof cam from Sam as we go into turn four. Matt's a bit too far away. You can see the tyre scrub on the cars. And so this is an absolute tyre shred of this track. <laughs> now down into downhill turn five. Look at that, you can see the understeer in the cars. I think Matt's going to have a go into downhill at 7 and 8. He's starting to size him up. His tyres are looking pretty ropey though, and Sam's are a lot better. Alright, let's see what's going on this battle for 2nd, 3rd and 4th. Not much yet. It looks like Matt's going to make a move on Sam. Is he going to make a lot late break? No, the size is better of it. Sam covers the inside, come out do a switch. Uh, there's not enough room there. <coughs> Alex is still in seventh. Jim is up to eighth now. And then we've got Daz is catching uh, James. James is a 52.7. Daz is a 50.2. So two and a half seconds quicker. His soft's about to give up, but he's still getting there. And then we've got a battle here now between Carly and Wayne. Let's see what Wayne can do. I'm just going to flick to the... Is there anything going on with this battle here? Oh, Matt has got past Sam. Let's see what happened there. Nothing. Looks like Sam might have run wide. Yes, he does. So Matt's up to fifth. That'll give Alex some momentum as he come down the straight. I think he's probably going to get him. Yes, he does. And then we got a battle going on between James and Daz. Looks like, oh, interesting. Ah, that was the first one to finish. Right, let's go back again. So this was literally a race to the line here. They've hit the time limiter. So James just gets it, does finish his attempt. Let's see who's going to win this battle. Carly and Wayne fighting. It looks like Carly's going to get that one. <laughs> so Carly gets 11th, Wayne gets 12th. Where is Silver Star? He's just coming across the line now. So he's going to finish 13th. All right, let's see where. Chris has got a way to go yet, and we've got this battle now. Can Chris hold on? Christian, hold on. His right front is absolutely, uh, left front is absolutely dead. And we've got a battle between Dan and Chris. Oh, Chris, he was going to go a bit deep. Dan's going to try and sneak down the inside. I think he's going to, oh no, it's a good traction there from Chris in the Genesis. Look at these. So Chris's left front is absolutely <laughs> hammered. Let's see what Dan's like. Dan's still got a bit of life in his. So what can he do? <laughs> can he get a last gasp, last gasp podium? Matt's in fifth. Looks like Alex is in sixth. Jim's in seventh and Skipper's in eighth. So let's see what's going on. Right, can Dan use those tyre advantage? We've got the last couple of corners now, so... Uh, sorry, let's get, make sure we get Chris coming across the line. So, even though his tyres are absolutely hammered, a great win from Chris in the Honda. Racks up another Group 4 win, and well done, Chris. Right, so let's see what happens for second, third, and fourth. Christian's tyres are absolutely done. Can he make it through the last corner? You can see how Gigi's out taken. Dan looks like he's going to try and make a move on Chris. Look at that, they're going to finish nose to tail. So, Christian third, Chris fourth, Dan fifth. Uh, Christian fourth for second, and Chris third, Dan fourth. Matt finishes fifth. Eight, uh, Alex finishes sixth. Uh, oh, look at this. Jim's just going to get seventh. He does so as well, and he pip skips that for eighth. What a frenetic race. Right, there we have it. That was the Group 4s. Brilliant for first race. So Chris takes another Group 4 win in the Honda. So even though he had no left tyres pretty much at all, 
He managed to gap perfectly and won by quite a long way. Then um, Christian did a great job in second. Again, left front, absolutely dead. A great second place for him. And Chris gets third. His mediums were absolutely dead as well. So that Janice is pretty hard on its tyres. Just in front of Dan, who gets fourth. Then Matt gets uh, fifth in the BMW. Alex is sixth. Jim fights his way back to se seventh, which was a good, uh, good effort after the uh, first, was it lap two, I think, or lap one hairpin. Uh, Skipter gets eighth after some cracking battles all the way down the field. I was like, great racing, guys. That was a good one, that. And James, who was doing really well for a long time, um, his right left, uh, right left, his left front medium absolutely hammered. Just beating Daz, who actually managed to keep his softs alive better than a lot of the medium runners. So that was a good call. Uh, Carly gets 11th, just in front of Wayne. And then Jack in 13th. So that was the group fours. We will now switch to the group threes. This is around four for the group threes. So tyre strategy will start to come into effect now. As the drivers only have a certain number of tyres to choose from. They're going to have to start thinking about when they're going to start playing their harder tyres. So, for instance, the teams, the drivers have to use two sets of hards during the six races. And they can only use one set per race, so they can't use both sets of hards in one race so for instance if they're having a bit of a bad race and decide they're going to just use their two hards up they cannot do that so given this is a tire shredding track we'll see what the drivers decide to go for so reverse grid 19 laps this time uh, that's our quick rundown of the tires then so to all start jack is on pole full reverse grid so he's on mediums then wayne is deciding to take the hards Carly is also taking the hards. Daz is taking his mediums. James is taking the hards. Sam's on mediums. Jim is on mediums. Alex is on hards. Matt is on mediums. Dan is on soft. So Dan's going aggressive in 911, going for softs. Keep an eye on him, then he should cut through the field. Chris is on hards. So is Christian. And little GP Chris is on medium, so a right mix. Only one on soft, everyone else is on medium or hearts. So let's see how this goes. 19 laps around Barcelona. Jack is going to lead us away <coughs> in the group threes. And away we go. All right, Lucas A branded Nissan leads us down the straight. Teenage racing. Their team name, but it looks like Wayne is already getting interested in first place. Is he going to try and make a move? He doesn't. Carly's going to get through in third. They're all going to get through. I think they do. Let's watch Sam as we go through. Come out of the chicane. Oh, we got a bit of racing going on here. Looks like Alex is trying to get down the inside of the Lexus oh and that gives him a little nudge as well as they go through so Matt goes past Alex is down the 10th like, oh Chris was late on the brakes there and it looks like someone's gone off who is that I think it's Carly again that's been unfortunate uh, let's see what happened there then so let's look behind the Carly to see what happened there so we've got the Ferrari and we've got the Toyota Oh, looks like it's just a bit of three into two into one doesn't go. And it looks like Silver Star's gone off in the sympathy. I wonder what happened there. Wayne's gone off as well. So let's call it all sorts of carnage. So we go into tight turn five. A bit of a messy start. Let's have a look and see what happened to uh, Wayne. Oh, let's skip it all over. Let's watch what happened with uh, Silver Star. So he's leading. As we go into the first tight corner, looks like, oh yeah, Wayne just gave a little bit of a nudge. And I think he's trying to do the right thing in redressing, but also then goes off and gets a little bit of a nudge from, I think, the Scooby. 
So all a bit messy then up at the uh, tight right hand, left hand. Uh, looks like Sam's gone off as well. So oh, a bit of a late rejoin. So in all of that, now we've got a three-way battle as we go into the chicane. Alex is on the inside of Matt. They will get through just about. Matt is right behind. So Matt is up to fourth. And Chris is up to fifth. So Chris has had another storming start. But he's got the other Chris inside. As they go through this really quick blind uphill left-hander. And what's Jim doing? Jim is trying to make a move around the outside of Chris as well. The other Chris doesn't get it done. It's like Chris is trying to go down the inside of Chris Pengelly and Matt is in there as well, so you can see they're all so close. So Matt is now up to third in the middle of all this. So we've got this mid-pack racing going on. There's Alex, he's fourth. Chris Pengelly, our championship leader, is fifth. And then we've got side by side with Jim and Chris for sixth and seventh. We've got to stay alongside each other. Look at that, giving each other room. That's what we like to see. Let's go on board with the Genesis driver. <coughs> <laughs> and I was just muted whilst I was commentating there. So in the middle of all those skirmishes, Jim's dropped down to last, and so and Alex is in 12, whilst Dan is now sneaky on his softs. We said watch out for him, he's up to first. They made great use of that, those softs. It looks like Daz and Matt are in a battle, though. Is Matt going to do a move into the hairpin? Looks like he does. That goes a little bit wide. Oh, Chris goes extremely wide there. Is that going to give anyone? Oh, there's more little fender benders going on here. It looks like oh, Sam goes around the outside of uh, Christian, but has now gone a little bit wide. Is he going to keep that, make that one stick? I think he does. And then Chris got very leery. He's now got Silver Star all over the back of him. <laughs> so he's this last very quick corner. You can really lean on the car through there. Let's see what's going on ahead. Have we got any more battles? No, so Matt's up to second. Daz is up to third as well, so Daz has had a good start. Chris is up to fourth. And we've got a, a four-way battle for fifth now. Sam is leading that battle. He's on his mediums. And Christian is on hard, so Christian's doing a good job in the Merc. Up to fourth. A sixth place on his hards. Also on his hards is Chris, which will explain why we're getting a bit leery. And seventh is a silver star on his mediums. Let's see what else we got. Carly on hards is in ninth. A little bit on her own at the moment. And what have we got here? We got a covering Alex in tenth. <laughs> He's got ahead of Wayne in eleventh. Then 12th is James and his hards in his Subaru. That load of really hasn't loaded either for some bizarre reason. And then James, uh, Jim is in 13th. Right, up at the front then, Dan on his softs. Looking very handy. He's got the fastest lap of the race, 41.5. I was like saying, no, this is what you call racing. It certainly is. There's Matt in second on his mediums. Being hunted down by Chris, who's got past Daz. Chris in that rapid Honda, but also eats its rear tyres. But I think in Barcelona, that might even the tyres up because the left front gets that absolute chewing. Let's see what his tyres look like. So actually, yeah, you can see Chris's front left doesn't look as bad already as Matt's. So down the main straight we come. Daz is in fourth. Sam's broken away a little bit from Christian in sixth. And we got Chris in seventh. He's got. Um, Jack still behind him, chasing him down. Mediums versus hards. And back we go to Carly. There is Alex, being chased by Wayne. 
In the background down the hill we come, scene of a very famous Manson Senna wheel to wheel in 91. James goes into the chicane, first chicane in 12th, and then Jim trying to recover in a 13th. Just his name's PB of a 44.1 on his mediums. Over two seconds quicker than James, so lots to watch there. Right, out front. Dan is settled into a nice rhythm now. He's just done two of 41.5s on the bounce. And can he keep those softs alive? Looking fairly even though, which is good. In fact, his rears look slightly worse. So into the tight turn 10, which was a reprofile from the sweep, more sweeping one. Back in 2004, that MotoGP didn't use until 2018. I'll give you a bit of a history if we uh, get a bit of time. So, Dan is in leading. Matt is in second, has just done 2.44.9s. 1.4 seconds slower than Dan. And he is being chased down by Chris. He's a few tenths quicker. Chris just does his PB at 41.8. Matt did a 42-1, so they're all they're both pretty close. Let's see what Dan did. Dan did a 42-0, so pretty much even Stevens. We might be getting to the crossover between the mediums and the selves. One and two in the championship, or two and one, shall I say? Or two and three in the race. So Sam's having a good, uh, another good second race. He's chasing Dan, Daz down. Daz on his mediums. Just a 43.5, his PB. And Sam's doing 42. So, same tyres. Sam having a great race in the Ferrari. Getting the grips for that, I think. And Christian is Merck on his hards. We'll be pleased with this style of the race, I think. Up to sixth. He's shaken off. Silver Star. In fact, we've lost. We've lost Chris. That's what happened to Chris? Obviously, he made a bit of a mistake and he did a 57 on the last lap. So he's dropped down a tenth. And Wayne not too far behind him. 47. James catching them. And Jim are doing some really nice laps now. 43 2 on his medium. So Jim is staying in it see what he can get from this race despite being at the back right across the line we go end of lap five Dan does a 42-4 here comes Matt he does a 42-5 so again still slightly quicker but Matt has got Chris now catching him as we come down into the first corner I think this is probably the battle on track let's see what Chris can do he get past that BMW on board with the Honda driver. I feel like you can hear the pain that the tyres go through as they go through that long left, uh, long right hand of turn three and into the again equally long turn four. Is he going to make a move as we go down into the uh, left hand hairpin? No, he doesn't. He's going to try and go around the outside. We're going to try and get him a switch on. No, Matt's wise to that. That's Let's watch from the rear wing of the BMW. Down to the left hand. Oh, Matt gets a little bit of a uh, tank slapper and Chris is through as we go up the hill. Can Matt do anything as we come out? Matt Honda super quick with Chris behind the wheel. So uh, just a slight little wiggle of the back end. Oh, Matt's going to make a move down the inside. Is he? Oh, he does. Look at this. He tries to get back down the inside, but just a little bit late on the brakes and Chris switches past. So... Chris is back up the second row. Nice little, nice little cameo roll there for Matt into the uh, hairpin, but didn't quite make it stick. Good battle between these two, though. So let's see what Chris can do against Dan. Dan's got a nice lead now. His softs are starting to wilt, though. So he's done another mid-42. This won't be a representative lap for Chris, because they were battling with Matt. Still in the 42s, though. So Matt comes across in a third. Let's see if any other battles going on. Uh, Alright, we're going to skip through. Sorry about this, where the camera switches. So we got Silver Star. He's now being chased down by Alex. 
Silver Star did a 46, so he's in the high 46s. Whereas Alex is in the 44s. Right, down into turn one we go. <coughs> through the left of the chicane and then long or through long right hander. <coughs> into turn four. All right, let's go on board then. So into turn four we go. What can we do about that Nissan? Jack's having a good race. Holding his own in seventh. Tight left hand up. Very easy to get on the power too early and run wide over those curbs. And turn six, which is just a flat king, into the downhill turn seven. Again, very tricky. Got to get this one right. Oh, this one's getting a bit leery. As we come up the hill, are we going to make a move? I'll be brave to go through there. Oh, gives him a little bit of a nudge just to let him know he's there. <coughs> are we going to make a move as we go into the tight left hander turn 10? No, nope, lets him through. Oh, Dan's in. Dan is in. Right, so Dan is in for his stop. His left front and right looking uh, rear are looking pretty nasty. So Chris takes the lead. Into its lap eight we go. That's his second. See where where's Dan come out? He's still in the pits. It's a long old stop here. So he's gonna come out right behind this battle here. So out sixth goes Silver Star. Where's Dan? Dan isn't moving yet, so filling up. He's gonna do a long stint. I don't know what tires he's got. <coughs> So, Jack is up to sixth. Alex is in seventh. So where's Dan come out? Where is he? So Dan has just emerges, just in front of this gang behind. He's just made it out in front of Wayne, which he'll be probably pretty pleased about. He's come out of mediums. He's going to try and get them to the end. So a long second stint. Then we've got a good battle here. Wayne in 11th, just in front of James in 12th and Jim's catching him I think we come down the uh, hill into the tight left turn 5 Wayne defending the inside uh, this is good for the Jim behind who are catching him up quite quickly as we go downhill into the chicane Just seeing there's a battle going on ahead as well so I'll skip through and it looks like Daz and Skips a skip start is on the tail of Daz now. Ferrari having a great uh, <laughs> having a great race. His tire's starting to go a bit, but yeah, throwing it around. Can he do anything as we go down the straight? We're in the toe. Daz is uh, defending the inside, but I don't think there's much he can do there. I don't think this is going to be an overtaking manoeuvre, so let's see what's going on behind. We got all right skirmish of cars here now. Chris is up to eighth in front of us. So Dan's recovery. Well, Dan's trying to now get past the McLaren. Doesn't want to lose too much time. He's got fresh mediums, whereas Carly's on slightly worn hards. Here we go. Dan's getting the toe. He'll make a move down the inside. Here we go. So Dan is going to make the move. There we go, easy. Oh, Carly's fighting back though, look. Oh, thought Carly might have a chance there, but uh, Dan claimed the light and, and he's away. All right, let's see what's going on here. So we've got this battle going on now between Alex, Chris and Silverstar. So Jack has dropped down. What's happened there? Let's see what happened there. Oh, yeah, so we had the, the Silverstar and Chris having a good battle as we come into turn one. Chris makes the move, so Chris is now up to 7th on his hards. He'll be trying to go as long as he can on those, I would think. Silver Star is down to 8th. Let's see what's going on, anything about in front. We've still got this battle between Daz and Sam as well, so look at this battles everywhere. Sam's tyres are looking a bit worse for wear. Daz is a little bit better. through the uphill turn nine. 
Let's see if there's anything else. There's Christian in fifth. So we've got this battle as well. Look at this. So Alex is on hard, but so is Chris behind him. Is there anything doing as we go through the uphill right hander? I don't think so. Can Chris make a move? Our Genesis is super quick on the straight. So Chris Bengeli, our championship leader, he is in. And so is Matt. Psycho. So Honda's got slightly more fuel on board. So Daz takes the lead in the Supra, going a bit longer. And still going on his hards is Christian. Uh, I saw at the back of my on the horizon it looks like Chris might be sizing up that Hyundai the Hyundai Genesis versus the Genesis Genesis. Is Chris gonna make a move into the first corner? Oh ho, ho, he thinks about it and oh, that was late. But side by side. Alex just covers him off. That was a nice piece of racing though. I thought uh, Chris was going to throw it down the inside there, but uh, they just about got through giving each other room. That's what we like to see. Alex covering the inside. Chris is raw on his tail though. Let's watch from in car. Alex defending the inside. Both on hard, do you remember? Let's go from the roof cam into the very tricky downhill chicane. Very easy to lose the car coming out of that corner. Oh, curves unsettle the car. Oh, that Genesis gaining through the uh, left hander. Let's go on the roof now of the Genesis. Are we going to throw it down the inside? No, we're not. From the, uh, I don't know if that's a drone or that's a crane, but it's a good view. Still start, still doing a good job in fifth. Still hanging on the mediums as well, so he's going deep into the race. So Dan is now up to sixth. So he was our leader, and I think we'll be net leading once all the other cars in front pit. He's on mediums. Little's GP slinging it through the Panama corner. He's also on mediums, so. Dan's running medium, uh, soft mediums, and it looks like, oh, we got a move there. Dan's got passed already, and we've got a battle, a bigger battle going on. It looks like Chris has finally made his stick. Is he in through? <coughs> I think it is. Nicely done. So Chris has uh, finally got past the um, Hyundai up to a third. Let's just see if, uh, oh, Alex is going to make a move, but no, he's lost a little bit there. So Dan's now up to fifth. He's ahead of Jack, and then this is going to be a battle between Dan and Chris, I think. Chris is gaining on him. So then we got Carly, who's up to eighth now, hasn't stopped yet, with Matt behind, and Matt is on hard. So Matt has also decided to use hards for this race. Get them out of the way. Let's go forward a bit. What's going on here? So Wayne is attacking Sam as we go into the, the infamous turn four. Nothing doing there though. So Wayne hasn't stopped yet, whereas Sam has, and Sam's put on the mediums. All right, let's go a bit further up. You can see it's super close. Let's do a rundown. So we've got Christian doing a brilliant job on his hard, still going. He's obviously going to have a hope in. He's coming in now, so he's hoping to put on some. Maybe even soft from that range. Be very quick at the end. Keep that way he puts on. Chris is still going on his hards. Doing another lap. <laughs> so he's going to be doing 12 laps minimal on his hards. And then we've got Dan sizing up Alex. Alex is on very worn hards. Dan's on mediums. We make a move into turn one. Dan, Dan's done it easily. He's passed well before the breaking point. No poor shot, he got some decent straight line speed. So makes his way past Alex without losing any time. So that's what he needed. Alex is in fourth. And Chris, so Chris did a 41.8 on his mediums. It's only three times slower than the fastest lap and he's purple. 
He's on mediums, whereas Dan set his current fastest lap on softs. Dan did a 42.5. Let's see what's going on. There's a battle here between Matt and Carly. Former teammates, looks like Matt has gone through. I think he's done it. Is the McLaren going to come back? It looks like Carly is going to make a move around the outside as we go into oh, a little pump in between the pair of the former teammates. Can the McLaren get a drive coming out though? I don't think so. I'll stay on these pair just for a second. Because they that McLaren is quick on the straight. Looks like Matt's away. So Matt's on hards, Carly's on hards, but Carly's hards are not looking fresh. So Matt is up to seventh. We'll see where that shakes out with all the stops. That's Spunk Mar doing. Spunk Mar is now on softs, right? <laughs> Let's keep an eye on Christian. <laughs> Look at Sam throwing it through the uh, uphill turn nine. Oh, he won that. That looks spectacular. There we go. Watch that again on board. A little bit of grass going in. Okay, so a little bit on the gravel as we go we come out. Right, Daz is. Oh, what was that? Oh, that was. Uh, so Alex is in. So Daz is in. Sorry, I'm skipping through. I can't do the numbers. The keyboard doesn't work when you do a uh, replace. Right, so Daz had a little bit of damage as well. So I wonder if he's hit the pit wall. But his right, left, his left front is absolutely crying enough. And we got Chris in as well. He's getting rid of his hearts. So is Alex. It's a long pit stop here. So is Silver Star. So is Carly. Right. So let's see what Skip Star. Well, Skip Star will gain quite a few positions here. And so will Christian. So Christian's now showing fourth. That's a net fourth. Sam's now net fifth. Doing a great job. Daz is coming out. Looks like in sixth. Oh, he's got a penalty though. Yeah, he obviously did. Uh, it was a late call getting into the pits. He also hit the pit wall and he's got a three second penalty for his troubles. So Christian, uh, Chris has come out in seventh. Silver Star is in eighth and he's jumped. Alex in ninth, I think. Obviously, uh, Nissan's good on fuel. So he's used less and had to take on even less. So, eight fair for Silver Star and nine for Alex. Jim has made it up to 10th now. He's gone for hards, so wise choice, get rid of the hards. Carly has come out on medium, so we'll keep an eye on that gap in 11th. James is in 12th. Just done his PB. He's at a 43.5, it's a good pace there, and then Wayne is in 13th. He's on mediums as well, so we'll keep an eye on that. So, Dan is leading on mediums. Let's see what his lap times are. A 42.7. Chris does a 42-0. The Honda is coming. Time to work a bit harder than usual, maybe. And the group three is Chris, but this is a race. Matt is in third. So he's done, so he's done a 44-0 on his hards. And he's got Christian done a 42-4. on his soft, so let's watch this. So Christian is catching Matt by 1.6 a lap. Dan is being caught by Chris by 0.7, 0.8 a lap. So let's just see if there's any other quick battles going on as we go down the Sam's in fifth, Daz is in a fairly clear sixth. Chris chasing him for seventh on softs as well. We'll watch that. Alex is in eighth. Silver Star is in ninth. So Alex has got back past Silverstar, looks like. We missed that. Jimmy looks like he's chasing them down. Carly in 11th. James in 12th. And Wayne in 13th. Right, so I think the battle is the battle for the lead. Dan now being chased down. Look at that gap. No point even measuring that. So Dan's on mediums. So is Chris. We come down the penultimate corner, absolute gem of a coin. See that line of Chris takes sliding the Honda through. And he comes down onto the main straight. We go finishing a lap of 14. Here's the Honda going on board. I don't think we're quite close enough yet. 
Plenty of time, got another five laps to go yet. Dan moves to the left to take the best optimal line through the first two corners. Taking plenty of curve, but rides a little bit wide as we come out. Is that going to give Chris a sniff as we go through the long turn three? Is Chris going to make a move as we go into turn four? Not quite yet, not quite yet. As we come now down into the hairpin. Oh, Chris breaking late, he might try and get the switch, but no. Down the hill we go. Just keep it nice and smooth. Let the Honda do the work. Up the hill we go. Oh, what's happened there? It looks like Dan maybe got a little bit of a slow drive coming out, and Chris is through. They come sideways, both sideways. Is Dan going to make a move to go into the hairpin? Oh, uh, lifting a bit, so decided better of it. His tyres are looking quite... No, he did have that earlier stop, of course. Let's compare his tyres to little GPs. Yeah, a little, not much in it. Dan's looking a little bit worse at the rear, but not that much. Right, Matt, let's see what he's doing. Matt is now into the 43s on his hards. She said, not a bad lap time. But he's having to, because Chris has just, Christian's just done his PB of a 42-0. Mika say, I was just about to say it's a brave move, man that tries to outbreak the Porsche, yeah. But obviously, Chris is having a little bit of a tie advantage. So, let's keep an eye on this. Matt now feeling the pressure. There's four more laps to go. And we'll see what the gap is as he comes across the line. It's not much. About four seconds, I reckon. I can tell, actually. Seven... Yeah, it's about three seconds in fact. So Christian's just done a 41.9. Matt did a 43.6. So Christian's catching him at 1.7 a lap, but his left front is going. Is he going to run out of tyres before we get to the end? Sam's on a fine race in fifth. Uh, clear fifth now as well. He's well clear of Chris. So 11 second gap, 10 second gap between those two by the looks of it. I didn't realise I actually used the timer to tell the gaps. It just dawned on me that. <laughs> so there's Alex in seventh. Not far ahead of Daz, who's got Silverstar right behind. So it looks like Daz has just passed Silverstar. <laughs> Silverstar's just done his best lap though, a 42 nine. So he's in the 42s. That's a pretty uh, competitive lap. Let's see if he can attack Daz. He's on the soft, whereas Daz is on the hard. So this is game on between these two. And just behind, we've got Mika being attacked. By it looks like both of mediums by James. So <laughs> let's just see if Silverstar can get Daz. I think he's got him. Look at that. We pulled away just at the wrong minute, and he gets past. So what happened to Daz? Did he go a bit deep into... No, he didn't go deep. Oh, he gets a little bit wide. So, Silverstar, nicely up to eighth. I'm having a great race in this hand. This is good team points for teenage racing. Let's see what's going on between... So, Jim's up to 10th, and he's got Carly and James battling over 11th. So all these positions all count for the teams. So the way the teams are, uh, are uh, calculated. Well, what's happening to the feed? The feed seems to be well behind. Um, the uh, the way that the teams are calculated is that the, f the, um, the first rated driver is paired with the lowest rated driver, in this case the 14th, and then 2nd and 13th, etc. So these positions at the tail end of the field are always very important. Let's put that where we should be. Let's go live on the feed so I know exactly where we're at. Right, yeah, so every place counts. Every place counts. Let's just see if there's any other battles going on. We've got Silver Star still got Daz behind. 
Silver Stars on the soft, as on the hard, so that should be in Silver Stars' favour, but let's see. And we've got a bit of a battle going on here. Is James still on the back of the McLaren? Not quite. Kylie's just done her PB of a 44.4. That compares against a 44.3, so nothing between these two. Tyres. Yeah, Kylie's starting to get a tyre advantage now, so that might play out for the last couple of laps. And it's Wayne. Still trooping on it in 13th. So, to the front we go. Little's GP has now got a bit of a gap. Penultimate lap we are on. Lap 18. Tyre's not looking brilliant, but not too bad. Actually, Dan's now got a bit of an advantage, but he's not that far behind. 33. So, he's only 3 4 seconds behind. And we've got a bit of a gap here, so let's watch this. So Matt has indeed been slowly caught, and he's now got Christian on his tail. Matt's still doing 43s. Christian's now, his pace is dropping off. You see his left front is not looking good. But he's closing, closing, closing as we come into the penultimate lap. Can that left front hang on? Matt's hard, obviously looking pretty good. Oh, Christian's really pushing. That Merc, I think that tyre's about to cry enough. It's not like the old uh, GT Sport where the tyre actually died and you had zero grip. You could argue that you actually have too much grip in GQ7 when the tyres go fully red. But nevertheless, there is quite a big drop off. It'll just get a lot of understeer. They come through the quick left, uh, right hand up. Let's see what happens between these two. I'm just going to flick back and see if there's any other battles going on. Silverstar and Daz. Silverstar cannot shake Daz. <coughs> so back to third place. Oh, look at this now. Matt and Sil um, Christian nose to tail. I think Christian, oh, did he go a little bit wide? They're coming through the last corner onto the last lap. Uh, left front is gone. Let's see where Chris is. Chris is coming around. Turn three. And he's got a four or five second gap now. <clears throat> yeah. So, Matt, what's he doing? Has he done enough to get keep third on his hards? Yeah, Chris, Christian's tyres are now done. I think Matt's just got to try and keep it together, not make any mistakes. And he'll hold third place. There we go, 30, 33 minutes of racing and third and fourth are nose to tail on completely different strategies. There's nothing in it though. A small save by Matt and Christian will be through. Let's just see if we've got any other battles going on. Still, these two are close. Carly just uh, doing enough to stay ahead of Wayne. And James is in third. So, over the, into the last call we go with Chris. <coughs> Brilliant win this is. He had to work at this one. So, double win for Chris. Fastest lap. Oh, actually, no, he hasn't got fastest lap. Chris is going to get fastest lap. Stole the perfect score from him. Dan gets a great second, though, in the 9-11. And it looks like Matt is just about they're going to hang on to third, I think. Through the last two corners they go. Christian is not letting him off easy. But it looks like Matt is going to get that third place. There he goes. <laughs> Giving the pit wall waves. He's pleased with that. A great fourth from Christian. And Sam as well doing a brilliant job in uh, fifth. That's a super score. I think it might be his high position. A great fifth from Sam. Chris gets sick and fastest lap, we're showing the pace in that Genesis. Here comes Alex, round the last two corners. Yeah, I don't think there's much of a battle there, so through the last corner he goes, so a good comeback from him after uh, being knocked around by Jim. So Chris gets, uh, Alex gets seventh, Silverstar going to get a really good eighth, <coughs> again, batting, a, batting above his average. He'll be pleased with eighth, there he goes across the line, and Daz gets ninth. And Jim fought his way back to 10th after being last by quite a long way. 
It's hard being caught by Mika, but he's going to get 10th. So Jim gets 10th. Carly gets 11th. And Wayne gets 12th. And around the last two corners we go with James. <laughs> There we go. So James comes across the line in 13th. There we go. What a cracking race that was. Right, so there is our victor. Almost the perfect night for Chris. Got fastest lap. Fastest up in the first race. Two wins. But unfortunately, Chris got that extra lap. Fastest, extra point fastest lap in the feature race but a great night for Chris little GP races for RTL so he takes the win not far ahead of Dan I think only yeah probably only three four seconds very close so Dan had a cracking race of the 911 went slightly different on strategy made the soft mediums work so he gets second that's psycho uh, far behind I can't tell just getting third uses hard so He'll be pleased with a third from using the hearts. Just in front of Christian, who gave him a real run for his money at the end. I think they were both sweating. That's like saying, well done. Thanks, Matthew. Nice one. That was a pleasure. So, great fourth from Christian. Then fifth was Sam in the Ferrari. I'll have to check, but I think that was his best ever result in DTCC. So a cracking fifth. Comfortable fifth as well in the end. And then Chris came alive at the end of the race. Got a fastest lap. The 14.7 just from uh, his namesake. He gets sixth, recovering from I think a few little dramas as well. Alex gets seventh in the Hyundai. Silver Star a cracking eighth. Daz ninth, again using hard, so he, he, he's taken one of his hards out of his allocation, which is good. Jim also on hards, gets tenth in the Lexus. Carly gets eleventh in the McLaren. Wayne 12th in the Aston and James 13th in the Scooby. So there we have it. That was round five for season eight. Next round is again another group three, group four race at the famous or infamous Bathurst. So one of the best tracks in the world, in my view. Not if one agrees with that. Um, so we got round six coming and that will be very shortly. And um, so we've got to catch up before Season 9 starts, which is coming soon. So there we are. That was Round 5. Hope you enjoyed that. And uh, We will see you very soon. Certainly won't be a week uh, for Round 6 at Bathurst. Hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. And we'll catch you again very soon.